It looks like it wants me to walk across to over here towards the forest. Yeah, there's a wet box here on a tree. See it? Oh, what the hell is that? There's just someone over there just hunched down. They're walking on a walker. Looks like underwears or somebody's clothes. You see? Oh, that is creepy. That's creepy. What is up, everyone? So I'm trying to do another random Nautica video, but the weather here in Florida has been so unforgiving. This is literally what I'm stuck with every day I wake up. It's just straight up rain and I, everything is just soaked and wet. I don't know how to be able to get this going. Look at that. Oh my God, did it just hit the pole? I swear I just seen that hit the pole. I had a cool location that I was showing you guys with another area and I got permission from PD and then some person that was living there decided to make a fire and then made a huge issue out of it and then everybody came in the Calvary and now it's just like well you know what I'm advising that you don't come back so today's video I want to see if I could start doing my random nautica session in Casadega I don't think it's been done yet and it's interesting because that whole place is super suspicious and super weird but I, I hope I could just get past this storm because it looks like it's right on top of me. I just had lightning strike a tree, literally just like two yards from me. So I finally made it to Casadega. Literally on my way over here, I hit a bump, which tore a huge chunk of skin off my tire. Like it looked like a bullet hole. Um, just got ripped right into my tire and I had to replace the whole tire and then it was crazy because Walmart was closing So I had to pay a guy a hundred dollars say bro. This is an emergency. I'm on my way to a location Can you fix the tire? This is the footage from that the manager was like a jerk and she was like no absolutely not You're not gonna get any work done. It's closing time. I'm like, but it's an emergency I'm four in the I don't know if you guys know but Casadega you have to cross through towns to towns to get here where there's absolutely nothing and uh, finally he was able to remove my tire, put a spare on, because I didn't have a jack with me to help lift up my car, because my tires were good until now. But now the tire's got to, maybe later I'll show you the gigantic hole inside the tire so you can see how big that, it looks like a gunshot. But look at this place. And for the first time, the lights in this huge, I think what is a Colby Memoriam Temple is open. Look at this. This is that temple I was telling you about. Look at this. It's probably the first time you guys get to see it with the lights on. I wonder if it's open. Might be pushing my luck. Now this one looks closed. Let's see if this one's open. Please be open. Nope, it's locked. I thought it would be open. Oh, that looks super cool. It looks like a church, but with a sunflower which is interesting. So this is now the situation I'm left with, is look, now I look like I have problems. Grateful that I'm able to have a tire to kind of rely on, but that's my spare for now. Look like something just gashed out of my tire. Oh, I think, I think my tire was bald. Cause you can see there's no lines here. This is the first time I look at it. Oh, and I got a nail here. I'm screwed either way. So right now I'm here with the Random Nautica app. I'm gonna see what about this whole place that it's gonna send me to, because apparently this place has a ton of history wrapped inside of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press start, and I wanna see where exactly this is gonna send me to. My intention is something dark and historical. Dark history. Dark history. Dark history. Okay, and directions, I got my first location. So this is where it's pointing me to. That's me right over here. And it looks like it wants me to walk across to over here towards the forest, which is right in front of me. Damn it, I'm gonna get bit alive again by mosquitoes. I was hoping it would stay on the road, but whatever. I, I've gone this far today, so I'm gonna, let's go all in. 
and uh, let me see, let me grab a flashlight, hold on. I'm now making my way into the forest. Hopefully this camera gives you better light. <laughs> oh, it looks good, at least for me on camera it looks good. Holy crap, everything is soaked. It just says somewhere here towards the middle. Oh, what is this? It's like a random concrete slab here. I don't know what that was for. I feel like I'm looking for Predator. Like Predator, the old movie Predator. Like the guy. What the hell are you? So I'm getting further in here. But I am losing light quick. I gotta take out my app and see where exactly do I go next. This stuff is gonna make me all soaked. So I'm in an area where it looks like I have two trails and I don't know if I'm right on it but I have this trail and this trail I think it's saying that it's much more further in. I don't even know what's on that side. But I do got what's a box on a tree. Now this is common to see here in Casadega because it's a witch camp. So they're always putting like weird stuff on, you know, trinkets and, you know, you know, just interesting things. And I see a box. I want to see if there's anything else. There's a wet box here on a tree. See it? I'm not in the fairy camp area, because the fairy camp has a lot of stuff too. Look at this. Yes, no. It's like an Ouija board and a crystal ball. Sorry, it's kind of hard to hold the camera. Oh, here, look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna put this up here. I don't want it to get wet. Look at that. Judgment. I just heard something in front of me. Oh, what the hell is that? Looks like a fetus inside of a jar. Alright, I'm gonna close this back up. Oh shit, I moved the whole tree. I don't know if that's an indication that something else is back here. But I'm going to leave that just where I found it. One thing is, if you guys go to a lot of the parks here in Casadega, there's stuff everywhere. So I'm not, that's not, nor, that's normal to see in Casadega. Just letting you guys know, if you guys come here, go to the little Fairyland parks, you're going to find a lot of stuff. But I'm not touching anything because, well, I did touch it, but I'm not taking anything. Um, because it would consider that disrespectful. You're not supposed to leave, touch anything or... I don't know if I was supposed to touch that or not. So I guess I'll find out what happens. I just wanted to see what was in the box. I'm gonna move a little bit more further in. Let's see if there's something I'm missing back here. What the f am I hearing? Oh, there's spider webs. And everything looks vegetated. No one's been back here for a while. I don't know if that little picture of the Fetus is saying something, but that's kind of weird why that would be there. But good luck. I'm gonna make my way out of here because I'm already sweating bullets and getting eaten by mosquitoes left and right. Let me get back up to the road. So I'm making my way out and it looks like there's another trail here that goes off to the left and to back there, but it's really vegetated. I highly doubt anybody has been back here anytime soon. So at this point now, I'm gonna go ahead and press start 
once again, I'm gonna see where this is gonna take me to and uh, see where else. Yeah, he's got a walker. And this is the weird property that it was telling me to go to. Right over here. Oh, that's weird. Children at play, right next to a graveyard. Look at this road. Creepy road. By the way, my ping came from back here. Look how creepy this is. Children at play. Where? I do not see the children, and they do not see me. And what's even more weird is that over here it says no outlet, dead end. Right? And of course it's dead end. There's nothing but death right next to it. See it? That's the Forbidden Devil's Chair Graveyard. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is so freaking dark. Let me see if I take this off. Does it help you guys out a little bit more? That's how it is with it off. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. I think it's better like this. But apparently this is the property that I got a ping at where I said there was somebody dead. Let me look around here for a second before I leave. I wanna see if I'm missing anything. Cause sometimes you won't get it directly, you'll get it indirectly. I remember finding a dead bird out here. And I found a bag or something hanged on the tree. Over here. I don't know if this is related to it or what. What is this? It looks like underwears or somebody's clothes. They got ripped open, but for some reason it's tied to a tree. What the hell is that? I don't even know those are underwears. It looks like a jacket with underwears, like somebody's clothes. Oh, that's interesting. Is there anything else? I feel like a crime scene investigator. So out of nowhere, I just got a really creepy feeling that I'm being watched. I just felt creeped out for some reason. I did hear a noise. It was accompanied with a noise that I heard down the road over there. But then I was just like, wait a minute. Just go back to the car. I don't normally feel like that, but I always trust my instincts when I do. But that was weird. And I'm walking around like a walking lighthouse. Does not help me being stealth. So I'm ready for the next attempt. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what my, my you know, my motive is going to be, or my intent is going to be something evil. I want to look for something evil and dark. Evil. Evil, evil, evil. Show me the evil. Do not be afraid. Now heading to the next location for where it's sending me to. My intentions were evil, so hopefully I get something that has to revolve around something evil. Which should be interesting. I'm leaving the whole graveyard area because it is so freaking dark. You can't see anything out here. But I did get like a weird vibe just even being out here walking, so hopefully it's not so much at the next area. So I'm now making my way inside Casadega. I checked the coordinates and the coordinates were telling me to go straight. And then there's like a house that I wanna check towards the far right. That's where I was getting for evil, but I don't wanna park in front of the car and look super suspicious about it, which is why I'm going on foot and seeing how that turns out for me. All right, I am now switched over into night vision. This wasn't even supposed to be a night vision video, but I had a feeling that the weather was gonna get this bad. And I was like, just in case I find myself working at night tonight, let me bring my night vision. Because here, if I shine my flashlight everywhere, everybody will see it. Now, according to my phone, I have to make a right over here somewhere. I think it's also, this area is very strict on whoever comes here at night. I'm allowed to come here, but I have to be careful. Seneca. This is where the lake is at. Let's walk over here. Take this shortcut. 
Stevens. Those signs are like posted all through the area. Not to walk on the grass. <laughs> you like, you can't do anything. All right, so at this point, I'm now walking through our neighborhood that looks like something from Nightmare on Elm Street. And I hear noises. What the hell I just heard. People live here, so I'm not saying it's ghost. That's weird. What the hell is that? Things just randomly moving. Looks like wind chimes just moving at somebody's house, but nothing's moving it. What? All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just literally staring at somebody's house, but those wind chimes are definitely moving on their own. See it? My freaking... My, I'm having problems with my IR light, but my IR light keeps turning off. Okay, I'm actually curious now. You see? Oh, that is creepy. Look, there's nothing and nobody out here. What the? This is right here on Casadega. Just come here and go for a walk. You start seeing weird shit, I guess. I haven't even made it to the house that I'm trying to get to. It's that weird. I would love to investigate that further, but that's somebody's house. I'm not about to get shot. So, right now. I'm passing the other little park area. I'm not gonna go into this one. But if you look in there, you could probably see a bunch of stuff. See, hanging from trees and stuff. I don't really wanna go too far in there. I'll get yelled at or something. It's behind somebody's house. But there's a whole bunch of trinkets and stuff you'll find on the inside. But I'm getting closer to making my way towards where the GPS pinged at which was right over here. And you know what I'm realizing? Is that this is the same place where I heard what sounded like a woman screaming on one of my other videos that I went through here. Cause there's these little parks where they have like these circle prayers or like a circle where they do a prayer where you could wish for whatever you want or something. It's kind of why I'm walking in here instead of driving cause these people call the cops on you for anything if you're not careful. Well, this is a house that it's referring to. And this house is completely in pitch black. Oh no. This scared the hell out of me. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but that was just water dropping on my camera. I'm gonna turn off my IR so you can see how dark it is. Not much of anything going on. I wanna see if I can hear the yelling that I heard too from last time. And that's assuming it came from here, but it sounded like it came from this house. That's creepy. Oh, I thought I saw a shadow. That's just another wind chime. I can't believe I saw that other wind chime just moving on its own. Oh, shit. There's a cat right next to me. Hey. How are you? I sound like, I sound like Joe Biden. 
Hi, folks. How are you? Don't go in there. Don't go in there. It's evil. It literally says it's evil. Do you sense it? Am I about to witness something right now? What are you looking at? Cat is curious. But yeah, this is where I'm getting it at. I was hoping I would see somebody kind of staring at me from a window. Or something. Your name is Salchipapa. Salchipapa con jamón. That's your name. Alright, I don't know what it is that I'm missing here, but this is where it told me to. It had something to do with evil. I wonder if I could... Sometimes this thing is a little off. And, uh... Maybe you might want me to go into the circle again. The creepy circle. Let's see if I can see what's on the inside. That's the... That's the circle. just got turned on on the outside back there not sure if you guys what the hell that was about but that was weird that was not exactly where the ping was going off at but i think it was related to the ping okay so update i'm a little bit closer to home now i don't really want to trust me with my tire uh because i feel like my tire is about to pop because it's just a donut but i have the directions to the new random nautical location and i'm gonna start heading towards that location now so it looks like I'm approaching a dark, sketchy road out here. Turn on my high beams. I don't know if it makes it easier for you guys to see, but my window does not stop getting fogged up. Just the humidity's covering everything. Ah, oh, let's make a left. I'm trying to see if I could see any trespassing signs. Nope, wrong button. This one. Nope, I don't see anything. So my ping was at the end of this road for abandoned. So as far as abandoned goes, I'm not seeing anything. This is all, it looks like it's all, maybe there was something abandoned here to begin with at first. But my ping for where it sent me to was actually right over here in the center of this little cul-de-sac area. I'm pretty sure back in the day maybe something was abandoned here because this whole place looks brand new. Like there used to be something here but not anymore or whatever that was like once abandoned. But I did find this. I don't know if this counts as abandoned because it's been abandoned here. But there's a pile of junk just thrown out all over the floor. Check this out. So this is that pile of junk that I almost drove right into. Some tires, rims. This looks like rims for a scooter. A door. A spray bottle. I don't know, was my intent supposed to be for something else? Like creepy abandoned or something? Some copper pipes. Ooh! Oh god, it stinks. Smells like rotten food. Looks like somebody that was a mechanic just decided to just leave all this stuff abandoned here. But as far as this wise goes, there's nothing really else abandoned here. So I think at this point now, I'm gonna see if I can end the video here. Only because I gotta be careful now with my tire. It literally took me a horrible storm, crazy traffic, and missing a tire to get this whole video done, which I've never been through so much of a challenge before, but I did the best that I could. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are down for another one, because I kind of need some content 
before I get out of here, I'm literally counting down the days. Thank you guys for watching Franco Travels. I hope you enjoyed this. And until the next adventure, it definitely was an inside job. Bye guys. Shh.